it's Melanie and welcome back to Grower's Notebook, where we take our love of plants to another level by understanding the science behind what makes them grow. Today we're going to talk about biostimulants. Ever since hydroponic research released Veg Plus Bloom over 10 years ago, there have been a number of competitors that have attempted to produce a powdered fertilizer of its caliber, but have always fallen short. Other companies with their purely synthetic, clean formulas neglect the complex organic chemistry necessary to produce top shelf results. It's our inclusion of organic chemistry and biostimulants that repeatedly set our formulas apart from competing brands. Let's talk about a few inputs we include in all our bases that you won't find in most of the other powdered nutrients you'll see on the shelf. Let's start with humates. Humates are integral in the process of chelation a term you've probably heard thrown around if you spend some time in a hydroponic shop. In simple terms, it's a process associated with improving nutrient uptake. Traditional soil growers will be familiar with the fact that humus is part of the soil that gives it its magic. And in the humus is where we find naturally occurring humates responsible for holding on to precious minerals and translating them into nutrition for plants. Refined humates like humic acid and fulvic acid are derived from various organic molecules of ancient compost formed over thousands and even millions of years. In hydroponics, the use of humates can increase bioavailability of minerals that would otherwise leach through our inert substrates. These organic inputs found in all hydroponic research products not only maximize the amount of nutrition your plants can absorb, but attach themselves to certain microelements like iron, copper, and zinc that plants can't readily uptake on their own. Another essential element to our formulas is amino acids. Let's talk about this type of input commonly referred to as the building blocks of life. Amino acids are molecules that combine to form proteins. And while plants naturally produce amino acids to facilitate important growth functions, a plant's energy supply is limited and stretched even thinner within a high demand environment like the modern indoor grow. Thankfully, plants can benefit from the application of external sources of amino acids. While the primary function of amino acids is protein synthesis, this group of biostimulants serve a multitude of other roles in plant development. A major job of amino acids are to aid in metabolizing the ever important macronutrient nitrogen. This is key for cellular multiplication and the generation of biomass. The chelation of certain minerals, as discussed earlier, also extends as a function of certain amino acids. Furthermore, these biostimulants also contribute to stress resistance due to physical conditions like transplant shock or extreme environmental factors like high temperatures or drought conditions. Stimulating growth by triggering hormone production and cell division and promoting chlorophyll production are other ways amino acids are known to benefit plant growth. Finally, amino acids are important in a plant's ability to develop resistance to pests and viruses. This is why hydroponic research products make it a point to include these very essential building blocks. Now, let's take a look at another key group of biostimulants naturally produced by plants, carbohydrates. As mentioned, plants create carbohydrates as a byproduct of photosynthesis. Plants use these sugars to build their structure and store carbs for other necessary processes throughout the growth cycle. This is why all hydroponic research products contain trace amounts of carbohydrates. Our flowering supplement shine contains even higher amounts of carbs in order to compensate for the plant's need for more production in the bud cycle. Contrary to what some other companies might suggest, it's much more complicated than say adding grape flavored sugar solution and getting a grape smelling product. 
Furthermore, plants expend a significant amount of energy releasing complex carbohydrates into their root zones to feed beneficial microbes much like those found in Plus Life. Yet another essential part of plant development ignored by clean nutrient programs. Let's take a moment to speak about the importance of beneficial microbes. This includes rhizobacteria and mycorrhizal fungi. And make note that the key word is beneficial. It's essential to understand that these plants have co-evolved with these microbes over the course of millions of years, perfecting different plant processes that are otherwise impossible to achieve without this relationship. The soil food web, as it is called, is one of nature's fascinating miracles that is humbling to observe. One of the important roles filled by beneficial microbes include nutrient cycling to fix elements that are unavailable and make them consumable to plants. Microbes also help generate hormones that plants need to quickly develop roots and shoots. Bacteria can both signal plant defense mechanisms and coat root surfaces to protect against harmful pathogens and viruses. Fungus functions as custodians of the rhizosphere, helping to decompose pollutants that could otherwise impede plant development. A symbiotic relationship is often formed with certain species of fungus and plant that allows for certain minerals like nitrogen and phosphorus to be captured by the rhizosphere and absorbed by the plant. A well-inoculated rhizosphere is also known to survive drought conditions much better than an otherwise sterile root zone would. It's foolish for us to wholly dismiss these obvious benefits along with millions of years of evolution. And it's with all these considerations in mind that hydroponic research developed BBX, our groundbreaking plant food plus probiotic. BBX is the natural progression of hydroponic research's line of base nutrients. Rather than follow the trends of hollow commercial salt-based clean fertilizers, we've embraced our foundations of organic chemistry and chosen to include the complexities necessary for craft production because we understand that there aren't any shortcuts to boutique flour. BBX takes the essential elements of our flagship base and stack supplement and combines it with the probiotic product HMP. Here are instructions on how to replicate BBX if it's unavailable in your area. You'll notice a born on date with every bottle to guarantee you're delivering the optimum amount of microbe life to your garden. Make sure to use within three days of mixing into your reservoir solution for best results. From seedling to full maturity, mix up to eight grams of BBX formula per gallon of water. Monitor your plant's response and adjust accordingly. We only suggest the addition of shine once buds begin to form and through to harvest. Don't be alarmed by the biofilm that may form inside your reservoirs. This is a natural reaction due to the organics involved in the BBX formulas. Avoid using if you intend to have a long-standing nutrient solution or your irrigation system isn't compatible with organics. Well, that wraps it up for this episode of Grower's Notebook. Join us again next episode when we talk water quality and the important considerations behind what your plants drink. So like and subscribe and hit that notification button to stay up to date with the latest episodes. And don't forget to leave a comment below about what topics or information you might want us to go over in this series. I'm Melanie and thank you for watching Grower's Notebook.